Uh, Straw, are you there? Oh, okay, so you can hear. Uh, hello everyone, this is uh, Sui. So today I'm gonna be uh, live broadcasting the TSDL Top 64 between Ades Track and Melly Fluent. I hope I got those names right. So we're waiting for both players to start uh, picking map and inviting. So let me know if the audio is too low or if uh, you cannot hear my voice. I'll try to uh, change it. This is my first time uh, live broadcasting, so there might be some hiccup. <laughs> and hopefully you enjoy the stream. Okay, so they uh, have sent the invite. I'm still waiting to see... So Addis Drax uh, came from Ancient Rune, seemed like a pretty uh, new player. He started uh, doing Apex I think since season 12, so last season. It's always nice to see new newer player keep the game alive. Okay, so they have started. <sighs> okay, so for Addis, uh, this is a two tank box, two healers, a lot of assassins. Meanwhile, on melee fluent side, we have um, Hilda, no light bringer, so just Hilda's tank. Uh, Rosen Seal and a lot of single target and assassin as well. So the first ban on Addis side is uh, Zerida 2 and he first picked Zerida 2. Pretty standard. Melu Fluent on the other side, ban Lightbringer followed by Kintoki and Wetham. Hmm. Since Addis doesn't have. Uh, Addis already. Pick up Lightbringer the Wet Ham band makes sense and he's one of the best uh, follow up. The Gintoki is standard, but I think on this map it's probably better to ban the follow up the, the people who can enable Zerida 2 for follow up. 
So the first pick on Melee Fluent side is West Ham. West Ham and Lost Ham is a really powerful combo, especially when you first uh, when you ban Rosen Seal. So the idea is like Lost Ham on this map can get a kill and then West Ham can come come in and can debuff and come in with a despair. So banning the unenable and Lu Lucretia is a flexible guess. Still no lost hand ban on Melu Fluence side though. It's kind of strange, especially considering he's uh, P1 and this is uh, one of the best map for lost hand. Elwin. Hmm. Elwin makes sense because uh, Malifluent doesn't have any tank and he is very high value for trade. The so Elusia have the um, I think she has an empty act again aura. So if a death drag um, position well, he can actually stop Lost Ham or or Wet Ham, but is pretty hard. Especially on this map. The Alwyn makes sense because he's really good map control as well. So Epsilon to buff uh, Lost Ham and also give a speed boost. No crazy pick so far. I really like to see <laughs> Duelist or Gunny in the Shell in action but I think Gunny in the Shell is probably not as good in this draft. With the way Ban pick is going. I mean, oh, oh, he banned <laughs> Gunny in the shell. <laughs> That's a lot of press spike for a unit that um, kind of needs some time to warm up in essentially a, a very heavy DPS game. So Lucretia pick up. She probably the best out of the remaining four DPS. Um, this die to Lost Ham. This. Uh, Epsilon is fine, but um, doesn't really have anyone else to buff right now. And I think Lucretia is a bit more um, versatile, especially considering like her AOE can actually hit uh, Epsilon and kill um, Red Ham Sword. So Claret is a very interesting pickup. She's media, so Epsilon will buff her. But the problem with Claret is that she can't really do anything against um, Elusia. Because both of the anti anti act again, and if Elusia is feel um, blood pack, then her dispel and buff block will not do anything to to her. But she's good for map control, so she prevent Ades from put, putting his units outside of guard range, especially Elwin. So okay, the Kayura makes sense. Is she's basically a healer. So he wants to play a little bit more of, um, you know, slowly push up with Eudusia, try to use Elwin and um, Lucretia as um, map control and DTS and have uh, Zerida 2 ready at any time to come in and, and get a kill. So nice, we got Duelist. <laughs> I think Duelist is a pretty good unit if she have a little bit more range. I know there are some players in global that kind of like her, but um, from what I have seen, she her damage is not bad, but her, her range is kind of limited. She she can be really annoying with her chain though. Like I think it has um, heal block for two turns, and she had two lights. So so um, her trade value is already pretty good if you can pull it off. Well, we'll see if Elusia is on the new stun, uh, anti-stun accessory. Um, before the anti-stun accessory, most Elusia usually on black pack because uh, of how her skill works. If you got buff block, then she will not get water uh, before battle, and that basically kill all of her bulk and um, damage. She really need water to work.
So the game plan for melee fluent is probably try to get a kill with uh, Lost Ham. He has Epsilon for the speed buff and this map has um, really good range for, for, for Lost Ham. So the, tar the target is probably Elwin or Kayura. Elwin cannot be placed outside of uh, God range because of um, the threat of Claret. Claret can kill Elwin too large. So he, if, if Elwin is within God range, um, Lost Ham might be able to kill. This is a really tanky Elwin though, so probably not. Standard uh, skill, except there's no AOE. I would, pr I usually bring at least um, one AOE when there's um, Epsilon on the other side uh, because of his skill, Shadow Steel. Also, um, an AOE on Lucretia is usually good because you can wipe the sword of weapon, so it makes him easier to kill. Wow, they're going really fast. <laughs> Crush and Annihilation. Um, I think for this game, um, what I would do is I bring the teleport skill. Because um, you want this one, this guy, to get a kill. And then, like, when Ham is basically, basically live, But I can see why he doesn't, because um, the teleport skill might be stopped by the anti elegant aura from Lucretia. This one, Frozen Clutch. Oh, okay, let me uh, reduce uh, in-game sound a little bit. Is it better now? Well, I'm not opening my um, my stream on browser at the moment, so um, I can't really tell. So both are waiting for each other to. Uh, I think moving Elwin last is uh, Elwin Kayura last are uh, probably the best. You want these hero to get a uh, good positioning, so they because you are P1, so you can uh, jump on them next turn. Also, um, okay. So her revive is not a, a passive, so Elwin cannot kill both of her life at one, but. The Kayura cannot move um, freely because there's no good target for her except for Claret and, and uh, Epsilon and they are both quite far away and if she move too careless like Lost Ham will come in and kill. So far I don't see any uh, non-standard build yet from the start. This is definitely not Blood Pack. This is definitely not good thing. So, it's actually stunnable by Lost Ham. Or like, disabled by Claret.
Hmm. I'll probably move Kyura last there. Like. <laughs> But it's probably fine because um, the only one who can come in is uh, Lost Hand. So, this is the problem with um, tanks like um, Elusia right now. Um, they're really good at tanking single targets, so if you are looking for someone who can just live, um, Zarya 2, she's one of the best. The problem is she doesn't have a lot of um, immunity and she rely on um, accessory choice. So you go for one and you miss the other, like, so if you go blood pack, you get, um, you get stun. You go anti-stun, you get um, buff disable. And she doesn't have uh, like anti-push aura like Hilda or like her only uh, her strongest utility come from her 3C uh, to prevent act again. But it has a really long cooldown. I think I think Illusia is still a pretty good tank in a single target meta now, though. But um, definitely not something I would use um, before considering other tanks. But um, look at it, his. Um, Profile picture, I think it's probably one of his uh, favorite units. Okay. So, Julius cannot reach. Uh, she can reach, he can reach. Usually, when I see. Um, Lucretia, Elusia, and Zarya too. I wouldn't bother bringing um, Shadow Stell, but uh, I guess in this case it kind of paid off because he doesn't really bring any AOE except for this AOE on um, Elusia. Huh. Claret cannot reach right now, except for Elusia. Um, this aura is running out next turn. So next turn, the um, Addis has to probably move Elusia last if you want to keep the anti act again aura. Otherwise, um, like Claret can come in very easily. And then like once Claret come in, this guy come in. These two can follow up. And Epsilon can clean up later. Um, on the other side, uh, Addis can set up for Elwin. Elwin to come in. And then like Zerida flow up and this can flow up. The problem is like if he do that like these two are basically <laughs> gonna be behind. Like one unit, one unit die and she basically lose her range. She can't really kill anything. The thing about Elusia is that like if late game you manage to kill um, this guy and she's in water, she's really hard to take down because I think she heal after battle as well. Or after she moved. And she almost like um, impervious to physical damage. Oh, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Divine Boot. I, mi I missed that. <laughs> wow. So die to stun. Die to buff block. Die to heal block. Die to heal reversal. So... Uh, pretty hard for Lucia to... Counter any of these um, gimmicks. I 
I think he could kill Elwin here, actually. Um, last time I made. And then 2, 3, 4. This guy can come in and kill Kyura because Kyura already moved so she cannot cleanse debuff if if someone die right now and Red Hand can get at the debuff on the entire uh, team like no one can cleanse. And because there's no AoE threat like Epsilon can just move here like zero punishment. I think melee fluence might go in right now. This is probably the best time to go in. Nah. And we can already reach um, Duelist. Can only reach, uh, do this as well. So we go in with. Um... Oh yeah, he can he can reach Elwin. He's dead Elwin. That is a pretty major positioning error, like that, like so. Alwyn is out of guard and he doesn't even have his um, two lies effect on. So here, that's the thing with um, Zerida too, like, she is good with people who can go in, but if you cannot go in, she she's just there. You have to make play with her. She's not really a um, weight and counter kill unit. So luckily for Ades, like um, Kyria doesn't get the uh, Wet Hand debuff. She still has her range because of the puppet. One, two. But she can't really kill. It's no attack buff either. I think it's turn prior right now, but um Oh okay, Kong make a really good point. Like I thought that Lost Ham could have come in, but like this tire and this tire are both um covered by the, the the aura. After the I I remember it was like um the aura was two blocks, but um I think after casting, yeah, Kong Kong said it was after casting, it became three blocks. So this tile and this tile would stop Lost Ham from coming coming in. But the situation is still pretty bad for Adas because um he 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 moved first, but he's basically down unit. So Melly can just move the sword unless like I just kill the sword. Like he just move the sword and he will get like these three can change into each other into his team. So he retreat Kayura. Interesting. I think he was afraid of lost ham. Like he can. Come here, Kyo. Yeah. The problem is like if Lost Ham come in and stun um, Elusia right now. This yeah, Kayura is um, pretty bad. <laughs> Because like there's no basically no AoE like her only 
the only uh, main use is basically to cleanse um where time debuff like her range is good but not that good like compared to last time on this map so she can hit um duelist FC got Bree, he, he can basically reach um, everyone. He reach, yeah, he reached everyone. Uh, it's a pretty low HP Epsilon though. Hmm, I'm not sure about this, like, um, you basically put, um, yeah, her out of the revive range of the I mean, I'm pretty sure do listen kill. Yep. Yep. This is really annoying. Cannot heal. The crit redux is um, kind of whatever, but uh, the damage from AoE is really big, and uh, anti heal is. Really annoying. Oh. This doesn't really do anything. And because she she's skill blocked by like, Claret can kill. Epsilon kill here, Claret kill either this or this. I think yeah it's it's GG. It does no damage because she's not on water. You buff block your you buff block then you won't get water. So I think the uh, from Addis side, um, the problem I think from was from Ban pick. Like he first picked Zarya two. Um, when you first pick Zarya two, you kind of want like your other units to be good at enabling her. Like um, this is a very aggressive pick, but then you follow up with um, Elusia, who is um, quite passive, and then Kayura, who is basically. Um, Wait, um... Oh, sorry. <laughs> and you follow up with Kayura, who is uh, quite reactive. Okay, this is a much better map for Elusia. On this map, if she brings Chain Hulk and she sits in the center, she is really annoying to deal with. Um, I think there was no change yet. They, oh yeah, they're still adjusting. Um, box yeah, so this box has a lot of people who like you want to pick after um zera too like you want to pick last hand you want to pick dear heart you want to elwin um uh you want to pick wet hand like, basically people that allow her to come in and either kill tang or get a kill after you come in so these two has anti synergy because like if you pick this then and then you pick this and that just like she just sitting there like you you have no enabler and then you like the last pick was i think between um kayura and um another dps like mm. 
Kayura right now like main value is mostly for the anti AoE. Uh, I don't think she is a good trade unit, especially like when most of the assassin um, kind of arrange. Okay, so Tiaris is interesting. Um, there's a lot of assassin and single target here, so Tiaris makes sense. Um, Matthew is decent on this map. There's a lot of um, defensive type going to pass through. And uh, okay, so I think same ban as last game. This is a two tank box, so melee fluent probably think that if he ban one one tank, that like, um, Addis will have to pick the other. And um, Elusia is significantly easier to deal with than um, Lightbringer, especially since last game, like he figured out that Elusia is um divide boot so she doesn't really have any good um, useful immunity okay so top three hero ban wet ham makes sense wet ham is still a really strong pick against um anything that's not light bringer or like when your opponent doesn't have good um debuff cleans like any kill basically turn him into an ass tanky assassins or he could just bring AoE to uh, enable all the uh, other single target unit. Okay, Lost Hand makes sense. Um, IBC, I don't think I agree with. I think um, Gintoki is probably a stronger, stronger bander. Um, so like, if you don't ban IBC, you just like if he if he pick up IBC, like you just ban out like people like um, Werner and um, maybe Luc Lucretia, like because there's there's not that many like um, less than five more DPS that benefit from IBC from this box, so you don't really have to ban her early. The Rosen doesn't really do much against this buff though. like, um, but yeah, I think the Rosen is mostly there to, because like, Elusia is just die to every single debuff imaginable, like, you basically have to pick Rosen, um, Rosen just there to have to like, survive and like, heal, heal reversal, um, stun, anti-revive, like, all these things, like, uh, if he doesn't first pick um, uh, Elusia, I, I, it's probably better. The Tiaris pick would be probably better. Like you could just pick like three or four DPS and threaten a uh, um, Tiaris pick. Okay, these three first pick doesn't really seem like to synergize well together. Um, she can still speed buff um, Elusia for the chain hook though. These are really strong. Wetham and D are really strong. The Hilda pick is mostly just so like Wetham cannot come in first turn and get a free kill. But um, D Heart and Wetham, uh, in general, is a really powerful um, combo because D Heart come in and get a kill, and Wetham is basically life. Okay. So after the IBC pick, the IBC pick I think um, was mostly to threaten like any of these three picks, um, Kayura, Matthew, and Lost Hand. And he got Lost Hand with IBC buff on this map, so it's pretty good. So do you pick Terrace here or do you pick Epsilon? Mm, yeah, I like to see that. <laughs> this is a much better team. Like, like after the third pick, like the third three hero kind of doesn't really synergize well. But like when, when you got Lost Ham, that is that is good. Lost Ham with Wet Ham, IBC buff, and her for the threat of Chain Hook. Okay, wait, no, that's Hilda, though, so Chain Hook doesn't work. And she has she probably gonna bring the Silence AOE. On this side though, like, um, yeah, the last two pick, uh, the last two available heroes, they're both kind of meh. 
um, Claret, I think can still work into Lucia because like we already saw that she's not blood pack, so Claret can just disable her. Um, Duelist, um, I'm not sure. I don't think she can ignore guard, but we saw last game, she her AOE damage is really good. Plus she had two lives, so she can front line against Lost Hand. And then you just wait for Breeze on D Heart or just use um, Epsilon to speed buff. I kind of like Addis, uh draft a little bit more this game compared to Malifluent, but um, because uh, Lost Hand with IBC and, and when I'm is basically the same as D Heart and uh, when I'm here in terms of like um, threat range and follow up, but um, he's P1. <laughs> So after I didn't see Bob, like he can be here, but uh, it not got here and hit his uh, from here. Okay, let's check the skill real quick. Uh, Shadow stealth again. If you can avoid the sword, then it's okay. Uh... Oh, he doesn't bring, he doesn't bring Grad Ignore. He bring, he brought Air Slash. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lost Hand plan is kind of out the window right now. There's, there's no Grad Ignore. I, I wonder if that's a, a mistake or it was a, intentional. Probably a mistake because you you kind of want to, the you kind of want the Gardenor against this team, right? so you can threaten like D Heart or Epsilon. But now like if if I'm melee fluent and I saw this and I saw I saw this, it means like there's nothing that can threaten my team. I can just push. There's no assassination threat. Except for Epsilon, but he needs stack. Pretty high HP for IBC. I think it's not um, Goddess tier. It's probably um, Dimensional Jewel or, or Star Earring with this HP and Intelligence. Eighteen thousand HP. This is probably. Uh, is it? I don't. I think uh, Blood Pack would probably have like twenty thousand. So it's maybe, but it's not anti stun act. So at least like Lost Ham can just can still come in and and stun. It not it not feather either. Yeah yeah yeah. So Lost Ham can still stun. Well, I'm stunned this. Um, this go in, this go in. Yeah, good um, Good type placement. Like, prevent this tie is pretty important. He can still reach through here. Just go here, chain here, stun. Probably, like, um, this will kill. 100%. So he need to somehow set up um, Elusia to guard for Lost Ham. The oh, okay. That's surprising. Oh yeah, he can reach. 
He can kill. He can kill uh, D Heart. That's pretty huge. Hmm. Really good from Ades to recognize the opportunity. Like um, the D Heart was one of the most annoying hero from from Melifluence side because he can enable um, Red Ham. And also, he's basically the main uh, map control because. This, this wet ham doesn't, also doesn't have um, teleport, so his range is telegraph. You can just wait out for the debuff uh, from this uh, to wear off, like after this, this uh, wet ham die. The problem is the sword though, like you can just leave the sword there and then kill it later, and then wet ham can come in. It wouldn't be a problem if this um, IBC is on um, goddess tier. Passive skin silent, I think it will also stop um, Lost Ham from getting a damage buff on when he when he chain hook here. I think the sword was kinda awkward, like a bit uh oh yeah, he has to hit this. Because of the lack of the teleport skill, like um, Wetham is not really in range to kill any of these. The problem with Malifluent team is that like even if you trade, you trade Wetham for Epsilon or for for Rothham, like there's still one one more assassin left. So and he will be under guard like. If, even if you kill one, like the other would just like slowly kill the other. Well, there's still Epsilon, but she can AOE and like one of these can just kill. <laughs> the damage is really good, like, and the heal block is pretty annoying, especially for Lost Hand. It means that like. The Sensi will get heal for damage, and he can heal with uh, these either for for one turn. Just retreat. So from Addis' uh, point of view, I think it's um, best to just wait out the debuff. But from Melly Fluent, like he can actually push. This won't kill. This won't kill anyone. Not with like I think um, two thirds of the Sensi already died, and his heal block and passive block. So this turn, uh, he can push. He has to be careful about the, the AOE range though. Um, 3 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, what? Wait, did anti stun? Is it feather? I'm kinda confused, like, I don't think this one is either Feather or a new anti-stun act because the skill is not green so it's not new accessory and the HP is a bit too high for, for Feather.
Maybe it's Featherland and really good HP and charm. Probably. Looking quite good for Mage Fluent. So, um, this can. He can move and threaten like either IBC or Lost Hand. Nothing that can kill the Epsilon. You just go in and kill this. Then. Hit debuff will be up. She basically just there. Same for her. Yeah, you're right, Absol. I think it's Feather too. Like, I was surprised because of the high HP. But it's probably really good HP and chance. Like, 18k HP with Feather is really high. So because like Elusia is passive block right now, so like her attack is non-existent. I think the problem with Melifluen and is that he already burned uh, Annihilation. Oh, four man silence. That's what I want to see. So you you have to go in now, yeah. You, you have to go in. Yep. Now you spend two DBS turn uh, against this chick or try to kill Epsilon. I don't think this kill. Yeah. Too low HP zombie. So there's a play you can do here, like oh yeah, okay, you silence. Uh, so. Because like everyone was in tree range when he she used her AoE, like they will be treated as on water. And if you're on water when you are hit with this um, AoE, you basically guarantee to be silenced. So that's that turn like she has like one last turn of the of the three C makes like everyone within three spot uh, to be in water. So that's a guarantee silence when she hit that. The problem is like um, IBC. I don't think um, they can do anything though. Like it probably because there was no way. Yeah, the 
the duelist um the duelist uh anti heal was pretty clutch there because it stopped the epsilon from getting um zombie hp back that's why the epsilon failed the kill earlier like if the epsilon kill this epsilon then the the remaining unit can actually can actually beat this because he doesn't have annihilation anymore even if he throws sword he attack into epsilon he'll kill himself so epsilon can just like slowly grind out um duelist and and wet hand It's not just um, low HP zombie. It's because like he doesn't burn. He didn't burn the anti crit um, from Hilda. So I think that's epsilon hit doesn't um, doesn't crit. So what he should have done is probably use IBC first instead to try to burn the Hilda aura. Or use Lost Ham. Careful. Okay, there's a sword, so probably will will kill and not die to count. Oh no! Doesn't really matter though because um this guy um guard it now will come back first. Yeah, so a few a few item choice um, and skill choice probably would, and Addis would probably won this game, but um, it was good of him to recognize the the snipe on on D Heart there, but um, like when your lost ham doesn't have um. Guard ignore and the uh, Hilda is anti stun. He won't really be able to do much here. And then it just it's basically just um duelist anti heal come in really clutch. Stop the epsilon from killing this epsilon. <laughs> yeah, it's just any HP like Hilda AoE will kill. Don't think Elusia can solo. <laughs> I don't think this is even you, you have the AoE. Throw AoE like throw TC at her or annihilation. I think it's I mean it's, it's already over but <laughs> GG Congratulations to uh, Meli Fluent um, and
well executed play. Okay, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to stream more later, like any game that's um happening in the Asian hour because these are the most um friendly to me, and maybe over the weekend as well. Um, good luck to anyone who's still in um TSDL, uh, and thank you to the player for the games, and um, I'll see you later.